Okay, then um, now we come to uh, hexadecimal floating point literals. And uh, these have to start with 0x. x, of course, as, as usual, is upper or lower case. And I uh, then have some hex digits, a binary point, some more hex digits, and a binary exponent, and upper or lower case f, just as for the um, decimal floating point. The binary exponent is, um, well, we have to use p this time because um, e would uh, be confused with um, um, a hexadecimal digit. And uh, then we have an optional plus or minus and some digits, and there must be at least one digit there, um, which indicates, in fact, um, how far to shift the binary point. Okay, so, and that's why it's in decimal makes it a bit easier. Right now the requirements of uh, the hexadecimal floating point literal is that it first of all it always has to start with 0x and it always contains at least one digit in the significance. So there's one one digit taken from here or here as a, as a minimum. And it always always has a binary exponent you have to therefore include the, the p and at least one digit in the exponent here. Yeah. The size uh, suffix at the end is entirely optional of course and it defaults to double. So here's some examples. Uh, 0x a b c p 0 d. Uh, d means it's a double. So that's a perfectly valid double. Um, 0x point 0 p 1 0 f. The f of the m makes that a float and it's a perfectly valid float. Okay, in this case it's going to be 0 because it's, uh, it's point 0 basically. So it doesn't matter therefore the value that's in here. Um, Okay, 0x, 1, 2, 3, a, b, c, point, d, e, f, p, plus 8. That's uh, got nothing at the end, so automatically it's a double. Okay, 0x, uh, 0 point, a, b, c, d, 9, 1, 2, p, minus 1, 1, f. The f of the m makes that a float. It doesn't matter uh, the case on this, the upper or lower case. Right, um, 0x, uh, 0p, 10d. D at the end makes that a double. And uh, of course it's uh, 0, so it's uh, very similar to this other case up here. Yeah, it's exactly the, very similar to that, except um, this is a double. That's zero again, of course. Um, zero x zero 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 six five f point zero zero p minus twenty one. Uh, that's a double. Here's a number which is uh, I've constructed, which is uh, too big for a float. If you uh, do the calculation and you remember about floating point um, and uh, size of everything, you'll find that's, uh, that's one too big to fit. Uh, but that isn't too big, that's, uh, that just fits. Um, and here's an example which is uh, too small. That's too small for a float. F at the end uh, tries to make it a float, but it's too small. And uh, that is uh, just makes it. So basically, uh, some point down here, the least significant bit of that x digit is is uh, not taken into account. Basically, when you're constructing a float. And. Uh, is something here which is uh, an error because the exponent 
has to be in decimal not x right there's a hex floating point uh, boolean literals um, there are only two true or false um, false that's a boolean true that's an error because it has to be lowercase it's uh, case sensitive in this point It's only numeric literals which are, um, are case insensitive. This is case sensitive. And as I mentioned before, it's got no connection between the integer interval types, unlike um, C, for example. Okay, um, these are character literals. And um, they're represented like this. Uh, you have an initial quote, a final quote, and it encloses uh, the character concerned or an escape sequence. Now, uh, these escape sequences are not the same as Unicode escape sequences, as we'll see in a second. Now, um, the characters um, are represented in UTF 16. So, if you've got a character from the supplementary um, plane or supplementary characters, you're going to need two character literals to represent it, not one, okay, because it would need a surrogate pair. Um, the input character also can't be a quote, otherwise, I mean, obviously that will get too confusing, or a backslash. And um, to represent these, you have to use an escape sequence involving a backslash. That's the reason why you can't just put a straightforward backslash in. Uh, another thing you can't have either is um, a line terminator. Because obviously, if you directly put in a line terminator as a character, you'd have one quote, uh, and then the next quote would be on the next line, and that would be terribly confusing and or whatever. It wouldn't be. Uh, that's not very aesthetic, is it? Uh, so that's uh, that's prohibited. You can't have line terminators. That doesn't mean you can't represent them because you can um, use escape sequences, and and these are the escape sequences. So to represent a new line, you just put um, backslash n, and uh, <coughs> and a carriage return is um, represented by backslash r. And uh, to represent backslash, you use two of them, and uh, that's how you do quote. So you can do everything there really. Also, um, there's a possibility of using octal numbers, um, but that is only for characters in the um, 885.1 set. So um, uh, the octal value is between 0 and 377, which of course is um, 255 in decimal. Um, these are all examples of characters. Um, he um, quoted, uh, there's a um, quote there, single qu a quote, um, uh, backslash n, which is a new line, um, backslash there. There's a, an octal number there, backslash one, two. There's another octal number. There's something from another language. Uh, there's a, something from the Cyrillic alphabet. And uh, just to make it interesting, that is not an A, it's a um, character from the Cyrillic alphabet I've put in there, which is quite easily mistaken for an A, but it's not. Uh, there's a space. And. Um, that, for example, is, is not a character because there's a, an extra space after that, so you're not allowed to have that. And uh, <coughs> that and that uh, are not, they're not uh, valid either because that would translate into carriage return or line feed, and you're allowed to do that. However, you can do that, which actually translates as C, and um, now I think it's time to have a closer look at these Unicode escape sequences. It, these you see, are, Unicode escape is not the same as the escape sequence for these character literals here. They're actually different, and um, I'll show that in a second.